Division title. Lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. as 155 pounds. It is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, He'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vince. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's who see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Presenting the challenger, the Cyclone. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. All right, so for the championship, you can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all time. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Missed with that right hand. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. 
you beat your opponent by slowing them down first with those nice outside legs. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Vance with the right hand. And they separate. And he comes oh, through with a big knee. up on that right hand, too. Nice kick. Clean with the right hook. There's the kick. It's blocked. Beautiful strike. Just over three minutes to go round one. Kick to the body. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He's throwing every part of himself to these big leg kicks. Elbow to the head in the clinch. Nice work there by Choi. It's broken, I think. Nice punch by Choi. Nice fade back right hand, my goodness. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. the center line, slips to avoid the right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Kick lands. Score with the takedown. Just out of range with the big right hand. Nice leg kick. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 20 seconds to go. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Choi's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Round two is next. All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landing those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided by the kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. 
Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice in. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Single collar tie now. That shot blocked by Choi. So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up on us. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes in your opponent. Back and forth we go. Oh! Oh! He's straight up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Trying to double up on that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. And what a round! All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. 
that big punch landed and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, the action continues here and now as our right, next right. round gets underway. Right. The previous round right. won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful hook there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, big left hook there! Blocks the shot. Nice one-two there. Right hand upstairs! Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, big punch man. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. up again here, but he looks hurt. Choi's got the tie clinch now. And they set him. Oh. He's got him right here. Oh, straight right. Absolutely bludgeon. and that's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storrs. A good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. That one appeared to stun him. To the head. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, what a punch. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Choi's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, Superman punch! Try to establish that jab.
straight right, and he misses. Good stick. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, he's got to be on top of the world after this performance here tonight as we come down the stretch. And this one, from a cardio standpoint, this is as conditioned as he has ever arrived in the off. I mean, he looks fantastic tonight. It's one of those nights where everything went right. He got the fight where he's comfortable, and he dictated the exchanges to where he can really conserve that cardio. Missed with that attempt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, such a natural jab. And punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Choice has got full mount now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Nice punch there by Choi. He blocks the punch. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh! Oh my goodness! some replays now certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck this was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. a full-on display of all of his skills he did everything in this championship winning performance he used his wrestling he used his elbows he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world and certainly getting the title defended with style points here tonight. He's your winner by now. He's just a 